We're in Petrified Forest National Park in Arizona, where ancient history is on display everywhere you look. We are heading out to the main attraction, the highest concentration of petrified wood in the world. It's so cool. From here, we can see the entire forest, petrified wood as far as you can see. We can actually hike down there, and that's what we're gonna be doing. We're on a two and a half mile hike to the Jasper Forest. It's an off the beaten path hike, which really combines all the elements of hiking in the national parks that we love. They have suggestions, but it's really choose your own adventure, create your own trail, leaving a minimum impact, of course. So that means you gotta kinda know where you're going. Bring a compass or a GPS, something that allows you to really keep track of where you're at and keep yourself safe. Check this out, we're like not even 100 yards into the trail and we're looking at tons of petrified wood. Look at all the colors that are mixed into this. It's so crazy to think that at one point, millions of years ago, this thing was alive. And now it's absolutely solid rock. All right, we don't have to stick to the trail. No, we don't. Let's always you know, keep an eye on this hill so we know how to get back up. Ooh. And be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Look at all of this. This is insane. This is petrified wood, but it's also just like an impressively large tree. You know what I'm saying? Like a massive tree. This thing yes. would have been hundreds of years old. This section could have belonged to a tree that was towering 180 feet. And on this land, these trees just, they covered everything. This was a giant rainforest. When you look at the center of it, it's just this beautiful quartz. You would not be able to tell that this was a piece of petrified wood if it wasn't for the outside here, which looks like just a living tree right now. Petrified wood is a fossil, and many of these stumps still look like the real thing because of a process called permineralization. So imagine this entire desert here once looked like Costa Rica. These massive trees would get tossed into the river by the elements, and then they were covered up by all of this sediment for a long, long time. Minerals like silica from volcanic ash permeated the porous tissue of the wood and eventually filled the crevices and solidified into a rainbow of quartz. Look at this, you've got all these crystals here, this beautiful color. The bright red is hematite. It came from oxidized iron in the water. The ground is now covered with petrified wood because over time, the water disappeared and the sediment covering the logs eroded away. Got a big, big colony of fire ants. And that right there is a great lesson on why you should wear closed-toed shoes when doing a hike through here. Fire ants are no joke. They nest in sunny open areas and will boil up out of the ground to attack anything or anyone that disturbs them. Their sting is painful and can sometimes cause an allergic reaction. We'll steer clear and concentrate on the precious gems all around us. Look at this piece right here. The detail and the color and the texture within this piece of wood is just absolutely beautiful, it's gorgeous. And it's because this thing is so beautiful that it could be really tempting to take a piece of this home with you. Don't do it. It's illegal to take any petrified wood home, no matter how small the piece, because there'd soon be nothing left for future generations to enjoy. And if you really wanna take some petrified wood home, there are plenty of shops where you can do that. Those pieces come from private land in areas outside the park boundaries. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Make sure to leave any questions or comments that you have. And please, subscribe to the channel. There's a lot more to come.